Kikai. Kun ko. Kikai. Kun ko. Hold, oh, please. Where is it? I brought it. There it is. You know what's the most disturbing is that your nipples are on the right side. <laughs> They're on the what? <laughs> They're just They're sticking just... out on the sides of her head. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to Unions. I'm Corbin. Ashley. Sorry. And you follow Sorry Kulki. Wow, I don't even get to say No, that. you don't. That's sorry right. Kulki. That's... You need some pasties. And uh, you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. So new. And thank you for watching some Patreon follow us on official Twitter. It is a little cold in here. I know. So, uh, sorry. today, uh, yes, we are reacting something with Kalkian. It's an AIB video. Sweet. It's called Rape. It's your fault. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> so, it's AIB, so it's gonna be sarcastic. It's Kalki, so. You... And I know what it's gonna be about. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be about the whole premise of. Yeah. Women, women who get raped, they probably deserve it because of the way they were dressed and all that other crap. Yeah, it's gonna, it's about. gonna be all the excuses. It's gonna but, piss us off. But it's probably gonna be told from a like right. she's telling it from a serious point of view. Right. Like it's it's your fault. Like, yeah, exactly. You yeah. know. <laughs> so so be... sarcasm warning. If you don't know it, I'm guessing it's gonna be in this video. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I would hope. But so. this is gonna be tough, <laughs> man, because I don't, rape is not something you can make jokes about. So I'm gonna see how they try and do this because that ain't a we're funny gonna topic find for me. Out. Rape, it's your fault if you're a rapist. Here we go! <laughs> Ladies, do you think rape is something men do out of a desire for control? Empowered by years of patriarchy? <laughs> You've clearly been misled by the notion that women are people too. <laughs> <laughs> let's face it, ladies. Rape, it's your fault. <laughs> It all begins with what you wear. <laughs> Scientific studies suggest that women who wear skirts are the leading cause of rape. <clears throat> you know why? Because men have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Here are some examples of provocative clothing that could cause rape. <laughs> it's gonna be long. <laughs> Everything she wears. <laughs> A All woman. Women. No women. No, no rape. rape. Oh, God. Some people might actually argue that the crime is committed by men. And to these people I say, who gives birth to these men? Right again. <laughs> oh, oh, no. It's my fault. <laughs> Indian culture provides for several progressive methods to counter rape. For example, the god then prescribed Bhaiya Hiti, wherein you just refer to your attacker as Bhaiya and voila, rape cancer. Ladies, why work late and be independent? In fact, why work at all? That's what husbands are for. Fun fact, if he's your husband, it's not rape. Powerful people have been spreading rumors that things apart from you can cause rape. For example, chow mein. Chow mein is made in the kitchen. And who's in the kitchen? Movies. And who titillates men on screen? And cell phones. Cell phones are made for talking. And who talks a lot? Oh, In fact, to elucidate further, <laughs> here is a pie chart. As you can see, women are the leading cause of 100% of all sexual assaults. Oh, I'm sorry, the math is wrong. Clearly, this pie chart was made by a woman. Now, before we go, <laughs> let's not forget, if you're tired of being humiliated by rape, you can always go to the cops and be humiliated by them instead. Madam. When rape was happened, were you with boys? No, not. Why you went out without boys' protection? Well, actually, there were a couple of my friends there. See, you are with boys at night. What will happen? So, what did we learn today? It's it's my fault. Thank you, officer. Thank you. And lastly, ladies, stop seducing juveniles into raping you. They get let off easy. 
and that just makes you a statutory rapist. And whose fault is that? It's, it's your fault. fault. It's my 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 fault. It's your fault. Yep. Uh, it's hilarious and um, uh, disturbing, mm -hmm. which is their, the point of the exactly. video. <gasps> exactly. Literally the, the whole you, point. You, they're like yeah. job calky. Yeah, but we're supposed like the whole point of the video is to make you feel uncomfortable for laughing because it's such a true thing that they're saying. Yeah. yeah. Like, the, the, like these things shouldn't be a thing. Like, but they like, are. Like the and... people blaming women. For being raped because they were like, oh, <laughs> wait, we could go on a soapbox here. We a woman could go like out naked and is still not asking to be raped. <laughs> it doesn't you matter. Creates a no Like it's so stupid. I want to kill people. Oh, oh, it's so no. But the video, uh, if we could talk about that for a second, and then we could get out of soapboxes. But the video was actually brilliantly done. Yeah, I, feel. I agree. Like because like it, if you don't get it, you're probably a rapist. Uh, <laughs> And you're probably part of the problem. Yeah, and that's you what don't I was see thinking. What they're doing. That's yeah. what I was thinking was that the people who need to see this and understand what it really means won't and get, get the, the double meaning are, are the people who won't get it. There'll be people. There will be people who watch this and think this was actually saying what it was saying. Yeah. And there'll be the ones that say, "See, at least Kalki gets it." Kalki's yeah. the one who understands that rape is the woman's fault. I guarantee there'll be some morons oh, yeah. who watch it sure. and think 100% that's what this video was about. And yeah. they're the ones who actually need to have the wake-up call. Because, I'm sorry, if you're watching it right now, I have two people groups that are on my heart. The first one is any guy out there that in any way, shape, or form blames their sexual compulsions on a woman's anything, you are not a man. You mm. just don't have self-control. You are as animalistic as the creatures that go on nothing but instinct. Mm -hmm. And your capacity to control your own mind and your own actions and respect women is absent and don't watch the channel. Mm -hmm. The other people I'm thinking of are the women watching this who have been raped because mm -hmm. they're out there. Especially women who, which there's probably a majority of them, have been told it was their fault. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and it just is mind-boggling to me that we live in a world that that would ever be the case. Yeah, and it's 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 disturbing, not just rape, just sexual assault in general. Yeah, There's I was just not, gonna say that, but yeah. it's not just raping, it's anything involved with that that yeah. disrespects a woman. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure you can probably agree with that. Like, there's not a woman around that hasn't been sexually assaulted. It, it, there there, there yeah. is probably. I, I've asked, no, it's true. I asked that. Well, we did a video a while back where I asked that of you and I asked that of Alexis. I said, has, has you, have you ever really gone a day without feeling in some way, shape, or form you're being sexualized by a man? Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah got, hey everybody, you know who, who rapes? The men do. How many rapes do you see take place where the woman is the culprit and she's raping a man? And yeah, I it know what we're going to... Go ahead. I'm not going to say that it never happens because no, there are the times when it does, but the ratios, yes, you're right, it is. But 99% of the time. I mean, yeah. the ratios are off the charts. And I know what people are going to say. People are going to say that there are some women who will lie to trap a guy and say a guy raped her when that isn't actually what took place. Yeah. That happens too. That we happens too. In an imperfect world where everyone's going to screw up and there probably isn't something that never happens. You can't say that. But if you're looking at the majority of everything, it is more often than not the woman is the victim. Yep. And I, I, I hate when people bring up stuff like that because one, you don't have to look at one or the other. Yeah. All, it's all, it's all across terrible and I can address multiple issues at the exact same time. Now, yeah, mm -hmm. it, you know what boggles, my, just boggles the mind. The evil it takes for a man to see a woman is scared and doesn't want something mm. and doesn't want to be hurt and that arouses you. That's evil. Yeah. Is. Which is why I said I, I wasn't kidding. There people who do that kind of thing need to be eradicated from the human race. They just need to not be here. Because it's evil. I agree. 
Yeah, it's, and I'm glad they brought up the point about the uh, marital rape. Yeah. Because that's yep. a problem everywhere, including America. Yeah. Do yep. People think that just because they married, they're, like, they're entitled to it. Yeah, right. you can have sex with the person mm. whenever you want yeah. to, whether or not they it want to. It still needs to be consensual when you're married. You, yeah. You are, that doesn't still, mean that you don't have to consent. To shocker, anyone. when you marry somebody, they're still a person. Uh, <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? Exactly. Like... Shocker! <laughs> and and oh my, uh, my, my encouragement out there to dads with sons. Mm. There's an old Crosby, Stills, and Nash song called Teach Your Children Well. I thought he was going to say Cosby for a second. You're like, oh no. What the hell are you doing, Rick? Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Gotcha, okay. Okay, we're all right. Uh, the song is called Teach Your Children Well. Dads, show your sons how to be men. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, by the way you treat your wife. Mm -hmm. And then second of all, by talking to them about sex, talking to them about how to properly treat a lady, how to properly treat a woman, how to understand the difference between seeing something and looking at it, because you can't help what you see, but you can help what you look at. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I may not be able to help the fact that when I go to the beach in Los Angeles, I'm gonna see a girl walk by who's wearing a G-string, mm -hmm. but I don't have to gawk at her and then blame her for the fact that I got sexually aroused. That's on me. Mm -hmm. And we need more dads teaching their sons. Absolutely. And this so. does make even more than I already did. I want to talk to Kalki. I would love to sit down yeah. and talk to Kalki. She'd be such an interesting person. One, because she's a, she's a brilliant actress. Just, mm -hmm. just, 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 just off that. the cuff. As a person, she's yeah. an interesting person to me. Yeah. Me too. Really uh, socially active, and especially in India, which is a, a traditionally very conservative uh, country and she's much and she's more much outspoken. more outspoken about certain yeah. things that are yeah. kind of wrong. And, and she'd be what I refer to as uh, the, not all act actors are true artists. So that's not what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But not all actors. A lot of actors, like for example, um, she just to me is the personification of what an artist is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where where everything she does, it's living in the creativity that she. Yeah. Is. Thank you. Yeah, that it's everything her, she does. Yeah, it's not her job that where she is creative and where she's an artist. It's every day. It's inseparable. Everything for her. she just is a creative. Whereas a lot of functions a lot of other people, actors go on set, they do their thing, and then they go, and then they disassociate from the artistry. Whereas for her, I feel like she eats, breathes, sleeps. Everything she does is linked to the artist that she is. Mm -hmm. and and that was great. I great job, it. AIB, and great job. Yeah, uh, really good, Kalki. Uh, you did a great job with this video, and I'm hoping, that, even though I doubt it will, the, the people that need to see it and understand it. That they'll will. understand it, not just see it, but actually but, understand uh, it. Yeah, well, you know what, we, I've never heard it. I wish it was out there. I would really like to know if there are any men who were caught and convicted of rape and are now spending their lives educating and helping people understand, uh, like going and talking to men. I'm about, sure there I'm are. a rapist. And you need to, you know, just I'm sure advocates who are there to help women. I'm sure there's a bunch. I would hope so. Yeah. Google it. Let us know.